The Model Y Juniper project is said to be based on the latest design of Tesla's Model Highland variants. These revelations show Tesla's plans to synchronize its production lines next year to increase ownership desire while also solving production and cost problems. The current Model Y is not only Tesla's best-selling car model, but also the best-selling model in the world with sales of about 267,000 units in the first quarter of 2023. Tesla has promised to bring continuous innovation in addressing the Model Y variants it currently sells. How would Tesla deliver specific changes to the Model Y Juniper? Join us to find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. But first, please show your support by subscribing and sharing this video to your friends who are also big Tesla fans. Now, let's get started. Looks like some surprises are going to start happening, with the Giga Texas factory being temporarily shut down to optimize production lines for newly revealed models, and the Model Y Juniper being one among the models planned for production on the new production line by the end of next year. The new Tesla variant shows that they share the same design project rather than individual manufacturing. It's a great way to cut production costs while still being able to meet Tesla's mass production goals. What improvements will Tesla offer for the Model Y Juniper project? Production of the Tesla Model Y Juniper is expected to begin in October 2024, considering the production schedule of the Model 3 Highland, Cybertruck, and even Model 2. However, we predict that Model Y will be paying more attention after all old models have been refreshed. Improvements in production lines that will take place at factories will likely set the stage for low production costs and apply to new models in the future. Tesla's done this well and made it aspirational for other automakers. With an estimated initial price of less than 44 grand, it's suitable to maintain an affordable price next year. A small comparison with the Ford Mustang Mach-E model in the same segment. It has a price of about 47.7 for dual motor all-wheel drive. We know that Tesla continuously reduces prices for their products and maintains their leading positions in sales, and the prices may be even lower after changes. Unlike the Model 3 Highland, this new Model Y is likely to appear as soon as it launches in the North American market due to suspicions about the Giga Texas manufacturing plant shutdown to upgrade the line for new production. It seems that all factories will have a period of focus on Model Y Juniper production. Because the Model Y is Tesla's most popular car and the Juniper refresh is expected to be a significant improvement over the current model, Elon wants to make sure that it can meet demand for the new Model Y as quickly as possible. With plans to use 4680 lithium-ion phosphate LFP battery cells in all future vehicles, Model Y will certainly be applied to this type of battery. The current Model Y line offers three dual-motor AWD variants, standard, long-range, and performance. The standard variant, with the new 75-kilowatt-hour LFP architecture battery pack, enables a range of 279 miles. The long-range version offers a range of up to 330 miles However, Model Y's Juniper performance is expected to cause excitement. LFP batteries are safer, far less likely to catch fire, and don't use cobalt. Cobalt mining is done by hand in the People's Republic of the Congo using dangerous, life-threatening mining practices. It's a win all the way around. Tesla's also rumored to be developing a new powertrain for its vehicles. This new electric motor is expected to use permanent magnets instead of current electromagnets. It'll provide higher efficiency and no power consumption is required. In addition, this powertrain is also said to use a new, more efficient inverter and increase efficiency by more than 20% compared to the old drive. This promises an impressive driving range boosted to over 400 miles on just a quick 15-minute charge. One thing can be easily noticed when meeting a lady for the first time is the eyes. We'll have to pay immediate attention to the headlight design when looking at the new Model Y concept. It's considered the eyes because of its ability to observe and provide surrounding vision to the owner with Tesla vision. At the same time, it helps the self-driving system fully operate and gives autopilot the ability to locate space with high precision and resolution, greater distance vision, and the ability to identify and distinguish between objects. The redesigned headlights show off a sharper look similar to its Model 3 Highland sibling, and most refreshed variants will have a more aerodynamic design to maximize driving performance instead of having too much change in motor and battery technology. The central ventilation part in some concept models show that it has been expanded even wider than the design of the Model 3 Highland. 
It divides a clear boundary with the front of the car to reduce wind and air resistance when the vehicle is moving. Partial airflow will easily pass through this ventilation unit. Up to now, the Tesla Model 3 Highland is still said to be the car with the lowest drag coefficient among Tesla models at 0.219 CD. All of Tesla's efforts on aerodynamics in the improvement stages have shown their success. So we also have some hope for the great numbers that the Model Y Juniper may have. Although the new Model Y belongs to the SUV segment, it seems that the hoods lower to the front to have less contact with air resistance and then gradually raised when it comes into contact with a windscreen. At the same time, the concave groove that can be widened and extended from the headlights to the front door will have the special task of distributing the wind direction more evenly on the surface. We have seen that Tesla always uses the latest tire technology from leading manufacturers like Michelin. The Primacy SUV Plus tire is likely a candidate for the new Model Y as it meets the potential for top performance on both wet and dry roads while also improving durability and fuel economy. Equipped with the new Evergrip technology, which helps the tire grip the road better on wet roads. Tires are also designed with new treads for more efficient drainage. It delivers the most impressive longitudinal traction among SUV segment tires. At the same time, tire braking performance is always at a safe level on all terrains. Primary SUV Plus tires have a braking distance that's 13.3% shorter than leading competing SUV tires on the market when braking from 49.7 miles per hour to 12.4 miles per hour. Short braking distances mean the Model Y can stop more quickly and reduce the risk of accidents. Overall, the exterior design seems to suggest that Tesla plans to change the overall design to deliver better performance, even if we haven't looked at the battery technology yet. So, what changes would be made to the interior to bring uniqueness to Model Y Juniper? Well, it seems like the steering wheel, which is also the main target for change in this major update, as this is the last car in the Tesla family that is still using stocks on the steering wheel. Therefore, it will be replaced in sync with other models. The buttons will be displayed right on the steering wheel. There's also some information about using steer-by-wire as an alternative option on the Model Y Juniper. Inside the cabin, the Model Y Juniper is expected to bring a series of amazing upgrades. The LED light strip stretches around with more seamless joints than the LED strip in the Model 3 Highland hasn't completed. Something similar occurred in the Cybertruck. Subsequent updates will undoubtedly be revised in the most accurate way. The instrument cluster screen or driving parameters screen displayed on the windshield is also a unique option. However, this still has some disadvantages due to external light factors affecting the screen that Tesla needs to pay attention to. The small inconvenience of looking at the right screen will also be gradually eliminated if this is really applied to the new Model Y. The improved center console screen is similar to what the Highland 3 has been equipped with, in terms of thinner borders, even the screen rotation function can enhance user experience. The rear screen for passengers is an indispensable convenience for a family car. The seat interior will definitely have changes with ventilation and heating systems being a new trend for Tesla models, increasing the cool feeling for summer trips when you park in places with no roof space to cover. You can use the connected app on your phone and turn on the ventilation system before you even get in. And the same thing you can do with cold winter is heat. The material used in the design of the dash strip and the interior around the door is suggested by Tesla experts that it could use ABS-bonded foam non-woven fabric or Tesla's researching to replace it with Alcantara synthetic textile material. It's like a felt but thinner and more luxurious to replace wood grain. I think we will achieve uh, full self-driving, I think, later this year. So, now I've been wrong about this prediction in the past, but I, I feel... Like we're closer to it than, than we ever have been. The new Model Y Juniper may offer the option for full self-driving capability. By choosing an FSD package, customers can equip their Model Y with the necessary hardware to be able to unlock the FSD system with a promise of future software updates. The four hardware revelations that will be equipped on the new Model Y will effectively support full self-driving capabilities, autonomous driving in its own lane, automatic lane change, automatic overtaking, and parking automatic. Certainly, with the camera clustered around and the camera hidden inside the headlights, Tesla Vision will bring the best autopilot experience. A key aspect of Tesla's full self-driving car strategy is its custom AI chip Dojo. Elon emphasized the importance of Dojo as one of the hottest issues ever. They need to spend billions of dollars on computer training. 
Dojo is designed to process massive amounts of video and image data, helping Tesla achieve their ambitious autonomous driving goals. This advancement in AI technology is expected to accelerate Tesla's progress towards safer and more reliable autonomous vehicles, promising a transformative future in transportation. With Dojo's immense training capabilities and constant efforts to improve FSD features, the space in the trunk of the Model Y front and rear already demonstrates practicality with the total trunk capacity when the rear seats are folded up to 76 cubic feet. Meanwhile, the Volkswagen ID.4 with a displacement of 64.2 cubic feet is in second place, and the Ford Mustang Mach-E with a total displacement of only 59.7 cubic feet. In the old Model 3, the capacity was 23 cubic feet, and in the refreshed version, it increased to 24.1 cubic feet. So what would happen if this storage capacity of new Model Y was increased similar to the improvements of the Model 3 Highland? Drop your comments in the comments section below. Many consumers were hoping for a hatchback version when Tesla announced the Tesla Model 3 Highland because it's just a sedan. Therefore, the launch of Model Y Juniper will bring users the practicality of a hatchback but still retain the style of a sedan. Overall, we think Tesla's made a pretty smart move after considering every aspect to cut production costs while still delivering the uniqueness of new products. For one thing, it's a win-win for both Tesla and consumers. By using new batteries, Tesla can reduce production costs and extend battery life. While consumers can get back the advantages that battery packs bring, at the same time, we'll have the ability to own Tesla products at an affordable price. There's also another great advantage here. By making major changes to product design and features, Tesla can open up new markets and reach even more consumers. That's a big deal, especially if you're someone who's been wanting to buy a Tesla but hasn't been able to afford it before. Elon appears to be taking advantage of these changes to make his vehicles more accessible to everyone. And that's something we should all be excited about. Market reaction to the reveal of the 2024 models has been overwhelmingly positive. Tesla shares soared in the days following Elon's announcement. Not everyone was able to do so. Some critics argue that concerns about the battery supply chain and the reliability of new features were also voiced with the introduction of this new Model Y. There's speculation about how features introduced in this new model will trickle down or be adapted to the three Model S and Model X or beyond. The Tesla Roadster is also highly anticipated. Musk's design aspects emphasize improving the overall customer experience, including an improved digital platform for easier vehicle customization and streamlined vehicle purchasing and delivery processes as well, such as enhanced after-sales service with AI integration. Competitors like Ford and GM are accelerating their electric vehicle strategies. It will be interesting to see how competitors respond by collaborating in areas such as charging infrastructure or by introducing rival technologies and features. Finally, Juniper Project may bring both challenges and opportunities for Tesla to renew all its products that are gradually becoming obsolete. With these great changes, would you accept exchanging your old model to buy a new Model Y Juniper for yourself? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, Show us some love by smashing that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thanks so much. Until next time, stay safe and God bless.